this answer is a lot of you young fellas are writing me and asking me questions and uh, appreciate it because I've already been through a lot of this stuff and a lot of the old heads. I've recently looked at my analytics and I've noticed that the biggest age range, I think is like from like the teens to the mid thirties. That's my biggest base of uh, people that watch me. So it's, it's funny. It's almost like, you know, kids, brothers, uncles, fathers, everybody together that all watch my channel. So all of us older ones are going to understand this one. So listen to this. This is a question for your answers series. And uh, please keep my name anonymous. Hey, Tyrone, I've been watching you for a while now. So I, I need some advice. About a year ago, I met this girl. And we have been best friends for almost two years. A year ago, you met. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I've been with her through tough times. And even when her ex had broken up with her, it was one of the most depressing times of her life. And I was the only one that helped her out from what she told me. I already know where this is going. I, or maybe I don't. I've been with her a lot, hang out with her a lot, and plan to go to an event this year. However, I am having second thoughts. Recently, she got a new boyfriend in November and has said a lot of stuff about him. And she says he's the best boyfriend that she's ever had. But for as long as she's been with him, she seems to keep pushing me away. I don't text her like I used to anymore or even see her as much as I did. And yet she still tries to talk to me, but I don't feel like she even cares about our friendship. I don't know whether to tell her something or to just keep it to myself. Thanks. Keep up the good work. All right. So first off, um, you were that cushion. You were that shoulder to cry on. I had a friend, um, when I used to work at Cracker Barrel, Every single time she would break up with a dude, every single time things would go wrong, she would call me almost every day, text me all the time. And then when she would get a new boyfriend, I wouldn't hear from her anymore. And But while we were at work, it was the same as usual. It was, you know, the normal banter, the fun, the jokes, talking shit. But when we were apart, Never got any calls anymore. Never got any texts anymore. Now, there are guys that are like this. There are other women that are like this. When they get a boyfriend or a girlfriend, they disappear. The boyfriend or girlfriend becomes their whole life. It's not that you do not matter to them anymore, but they need you even more when they do not have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. The person I know, she broke up. Well, her man broke up with her, and all of a sudden she was calling people that she didn't hang out on, hang out with on the regular. And, you know, me being in the, you know, circle, you know, I heard about it, and I was like, yeah, I, I know what she's doing. She's, she doesn't have him anymore, so she needs to somehow make herself busy, uh, have fun, distract her mind off of him by you know, hanging with these other people, you know, which are, were also her friends, but she just didn't hang with them that much, nearly as much, not nearly as much as she was doing then. So you are that friend. You are the friend that in between boyfriends, she's really, really close with. Now, you said she's been pushing you away. I don't know if she's pushing you away. She's probably just not talking to you as much. And I know that can be irritating. And I figured it out. After the third time she had a boyfriend, she broke up. I was like, I said, you call me. You start calling every time you don't have a man no more. And she was like, I'm sorry. I have been told that before. And I was like, mm-hmm. You ain't got nobody. All of a sudden, we're your close friends. But you know what? I didn't hold it against her. I just... I just saw it as it being a, a particular personality trait. So if I were you, if I were you, if you're feeling some type of way about it, 
you know, I don't know if you have feelings for this girl or not. That may be in your intent too. So if you have feelings for her, which you didn't say, but if you do, you, I, I'm not saying tell her how you feel, but you might want to say, look, I noticed that you only call me or text me when you don't really have a man. And, you know, um, when you do have one, it's less and less, you know, I get it. But is our friendship still as strong as it was? You know, are we still cool? You know, you might want to ask her if you need some type of closure or answers so you can move on in the friendship. If not, you can keep it to yourself if you feel like it, you know, but I don't want that bo the bottled up stress to, to bother you. So if I, you know, if, if I were you and I was feeling stressed, I might, you know, say something to her like, listen, you know, but if not, Keep it to yourself. It's just her personality. That's how she is. She becomes clingy to her friends when she's alone. But when she's not alone, you're still her friend, but she's just not as clingy. All right? Hope I helped. One million subscribers. Woo!